Hello YouTube and welcome to a new Tax Laws video. It's time for my review of the new Huawei P Smart Plus, as it is called here in Europe. Uh, in other parts of the world, it's called the Nova 3i. This is a 6.3 inch device with a notch with inside the new Kirin 710, 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 gigabytes of storage for a price of 300 euros, at least here in Germany. For this price, you get a decent, a normal phone, a normal Huawei device with a big screen and not that kind of better cameras. When I read the specs, I was thinking the new Kirin 710, this is the new successor to the 659 Kirin. This will be so much faster. This will such an be such an improvement, but no, it wasn't. Yes, the device is faster in comparison and even animations are faster and more fluently than, than on previous devices from Huawei. But this can be also because of Emoji 8.2. This device comes with Android 8 and Emoji 8, Emoji 8.2. I'm pretty sure we will see an update to Android 9, Android Pi, but I'm also pretty sure we, this device will never see Android 10 on it. So, as I was talking about performance, animations, daily usage, using it for social media, scrolling around, uh, viewing websites, doing your normal stuff, even launching big games. I used, to, uh, I used it to, to test out Asphalt 9. Yes, apps are running, apps are looking okay, up to great on this device and especially on the screen. The screen, 6.3 inch, it's a long screen, 19 0.5 to 9 uh, aspect ratio with a resolution of 2340 by 1080 which gives us a little bit over 900 ppi pixel per inch. So yes, the screen is nice to look at, viewing angles are okay, colors are okay, outside it could be a little bit brighter but overall I'm really satisfied with the screen and especially with the screen to body ratio because you don't got any uh, buttons below here. You don't even get a Huawei logo beneath the screen. No, this the front side is completely only screen and this looks nice. Of course you got the notch. So what else about performance? It's, it's okay but I think in comparison with all those P Smart, the normal P Smart, or Huawei P20 Lite, or Mate 10 Lite, all those classic 2018 devices we saw in the, in the beginning of the year with the Kirin 659 and 3 to 4 gigabytes of RAM, they did run similarly. This device, the P Smart Plus, runs maybe 10 up to 15% faster. This, yes, I give it, and it, it, we give it as this on paper. The Kirin 710 is faster on paper than the 659er, but don't compare the Kirin 710 to the Snapdragon 710. This is a whole different level. Huawei calls the Kirin 710 only because of marketing reasons the 710, in my opinion. Um, so you get uh, maybe 10%, 15% more performance that you actually feel. But for that you have to pay at 50% more of the price. But we have the price discussion at the end of the video and I tell you which devices maybe I would prefer instead of the P Smart Plus. Um, so speaker, we got a normal speaker, just a mono speaker. Thumbs, it's a standard speaker, but it's loud enough if you want to, to take a shower and put the device on the sink and listening to some news. If you want to listen to the radio, if you're working or so, you, no problem at all. Uh, the speaker is also crisp and clear until 80% and even in the evening, if you're in the night, if you're listening to an audiobook, no problem. The speaker gets a thumbs up. Even if you turn up the speaker to 100% because you're gaming or anything like that, one big advantage, the phone will nearly not vibrate. You got nearly no vibrations on this device if the speaker turns up. This is great. So. The one thing I hoped for this device was a Kirin 710 for performance reasons. We didn't get that really. The other thing I was hoping for, was looking for, were good or great pictures. Because we got a 16 megapixel pic uh, camera on the backside with an aperture of 2.4, I guess, or 2.2. And an additional 2 megapixel sensor for the depth information to get your portrait pictures. And you get normal standard Huawei standard quality on this 200 to 300 price range level. Nothing fancy. If you got enough light, you get nice pictures. But if it gets darker, mm, 
You get nearly no video stabilization, but still okay. You can get decent videos here and there if you got enough light. But forget about the bokeh motors or the portrait motors. Yes, we got again one of these AI feature that is, in my opinion, just some filter that makes the picture even more colorful. But that you can turn off even after you've taken the shot. You can reduce this AI feature or turn off the AI feature and get normal looking pictures without this bright colorful things. But colorful, I mean, this is if you get this in the purple edition, this is so colorful. So this was the back camera. What about the front facing camera? It's even a 20 megapixel sensor with an aperture of 2.0, I guess even. I think you can take portrait or selfies better. I like the selfies and the portraits better with the front facing camera than with the taking with the backside camera. Yes, but still, if you look at the portrait or the bokeh models, it doesn't get the hair straight. It doesn't get the glasses straight or anything like that. You don't get any, this is like, a little bit better on the picture quality than for example an Honor 6X which has already been out for two years and this is uh, still the level we are, we are at the, this is the level we are looking at here and yes the front facing camera got also a 2 megapixel camera for the depth information so we get four camera sensors here but you don't get a decent bokeh effect this is the thing I want to tell you so we got the performance thing where I was hoping for more we got the camera thing where I was also hoping for more. So after this is a decent device, don't get me wrong, but this would be also a decent device compared to other Huawei devices that cost around 200 euros. So I don't have to pay 300 euros. Next thing, battery life. Big device, but only a 3300 mAh battery built inside. But still, it will last you through the day. Watching Netflix on auto brightness consumes 13, maybe 14 percent. Using the device normally with a little bit more on auto brightness setting because a little bit dark on standard settings will cost you 14 to 15 percent. So you get through the day easily, yes. But you have to be careful if you want to take get two days out of the device. I don't. Most people, you will hook up the device in the evening when you go to bed. Then you will charge it, and then you are fine. Um, charging uh, from 10 to 100 percent costs. Uh, uh, you need at least two hours, and. Um, if you're easy on the device, it's no problem to get from Monday morning from 7 a.m. to Tuesday evening at around 10 p.m. No problem, but you don't, not as a heavy user or if you're trying to, to operate this with service as a mobile hotspot. Yes, we got dual SIM or we got combi SIM. You got either two nano SIM cards or one nano SIM card and a micro SD card. This is nice. This is fine. Uh, phone quality. No problem, it's standard phone quality. No difference from maybe from an iPhone X. You just got your normal phone quality. Listening to some things, music. We still got a headphone jack, thumbs up. Bluetooth, connecting Bluetooth headphones with the device. No problem, sound quality is also decent. This is something I really like, or this is just a standard quality here. Reception, mobile reception, standard, and Wi-Fi reception, again, standard. But you only get the 2.4 GHz band on Wi-Fi, not the 5 GHz band on Wi-Fi. This is a nice way over to what we don't get with the device. We don't got 5 GHz Wi-Fi. We don't got NFC, so no Google Pay for you. We don't get uh, USB Type-C. This device charges you via micro USB. And this is something I don't get. We got the P20 Lite, which dropped massively in price here in Europe. You get it for 250 euros. And now we got this device. Yes, it got the new Kirin in comparison. But still, where is the NFC? Where is the USB Type-C? USB uh, standard is 2.0. And now we are at the prior point. If all the other Huawei devices wouldn't exist, then I would say 300 euros, nice device, yes. And maybe last year I would have said last, nice device, even with NFC and USB Type-C missing, yes. But in comparison with other devices that are out there at the market, for example, an Honor 10, an Honor 10 is totally on a different level. 
Or right now at the EFA, at the Gamescom in Cologne, they are already presented the Honor Play with the Kirin 970, uh, 70, uh, 970. So the high end Kirin here. And this device, I can't tell you the price, but it will cost a little bit more than, than the P Smart Plus here, at least here in Europe. And this gives you a totally other level. You also get the big screen. You also get at least the same camera quality and you get a bigger battery life, you get a bigger battery, you got USB type C, you still you got NFC, you got you got still got your headphone jack. And in comparison, I cannot recommend the uh, the Huawei P Smart Plus to anyone out there, not not with the other Huawei and Honor devices out there. Even with the Honor 10, Honor 10 will cost you more, but gives you maybe a smaller screen, but and you don't get some, you can, don't get micro SD, but you get NFC and you get a whole other camera experience here. You, in comparison, you get, between the Honor Play and the Honor 10, you get a whole other camera experience level on the Honor 10 as well. But in comparison with both devices, no. And this is just the other hand. This is or in comparison with other brands like the Xiaomi A2 or maybe the Motorola Moto G6 Plus, which costs less than this device and gives you so much more. These are other things I don't really, really can't recommend at this point. And picture this or go into the other direction if you spend money. Don't spend 200 or a little bit more money. Spend less if you go into the range 200 euros or even 250. P20 Lite, Mate 10 Lite, uh, P Smart, or Honor 7X, all those other six Kirin 6.59 devices will cost you 50% of this device and give you maybe only, depending on what, uh, only 10% less of, of what you get in performance or maybe in camera quality or picture quality. And this is something, this is just the unloved child in the middle here, which I cannot recommend at this point. And even if the price of this device drops, have a look at the prices of the other devices because their prices will drop as well. So this is it. Thank you guys for watching and I see you all in the next video. Bye.